from the city of Brotherly Love and Citizens Bank Park. MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming your way next. Out set to go. And on the mound for Philadelphia in this one, Zach Wheeler. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. He'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead to count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it's one to no. And a pitch. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Makes the grab on the run. And a quick out number one. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. And the key to victory for them their starters some run support early Boog, if they can get him that run support early it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in so put pressure on that other team right away jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. swing through for strike one Kicks and deals. And he grounds one back up the middle. Turner with the first. Out on the play. That is third. The left field. Now it's Randy Arosarena. Arosarena. Just okay. missed. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. You got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect them to swing at. Two down, nobody on. Late on that fastball. It's looking pretty sharp to start the ball game. He's got that good fastball working early. Swing and a miss. Him out and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one two three Rays held in check here Phillies coming up to hit no score you're dialed into the show back at Citizens Bank Park on the hill here today Zach Eflin try to stay back for that power changeup. speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge hitters they have a hard time staying back we go to the bottom of the first stepping in the long ball threat kyle. kyle schwarber he is very much your typical power hitter i'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category but we see more and more of that lately the ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concern And that's oh, off the inside edge. Now 2-0. 2 and oh. Two will count. Great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. And that's through there for a strike. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, he's and stuff in the dirt. And that's down and away. Trey Turner waits on deck. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout. 
Because even right. though he strikes That's out, he off. saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count off as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Here's Trey Turner right through there for a strike. One out, base is empty. On the ground, out to short. Turner is out. And time now for the Phillies lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time. And they may not have the flash that they once did, but... They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations. Be able to think with the opponent and they know how to get down to business and they understand what the job is at hand. Two outs. And that is in for a strike. And one and one. Swinging. And the Phillies are set down in order. Down quickly, go the Phillies. We played an inning. No score. Top of the second. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup there. Isak Paredes. Wheeler back to work. That one is absolutely belted. At the wall, but can't haul it in. Marsh quickly gets it back in, and that holds the go-ahead run at third. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this same, there'll be some second guessing for sure. Substitution now at first base. Pinch running here for the Rays. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Harold Ramirez at the dish. There's a strike. They might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. So he needed a strikeout. He already got it. Now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one. Richie Palacios, next to hit for the Rays. Oh. Squirts away a little bit. Runners stay put. That's ball one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Left-hand batter waits. Lifted in the air, right center. He's under it. Runner tags third. And he's in to score. On the board first, it's one zip. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. And now it's Jose Siri. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. That misses off the outside edge. Wheeler, third.
33 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2009. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. Rosario runs. Swing and a miss. Real mutual throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. And this is inside. Now all leave it up. Three and two. In the dirt. Runner holds, and it's a full count. Man on second, two down. Fouls it back with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Inning over, and it could have been worse. A run, a hit, and a man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Rays one, and the Phillies nothing. Now into the ball game on defense. Dario. He's the new third baseman. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. The way that we see the game played today, the guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Kicks and fires. And another ball. I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitches. Challenging just to come up with a single. That one missed. Alec Bone next to bat for Philadelphia. And it's second. That pitch gets. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Struck him out looking. So a change. Pitch running here. Edmundo Sosa. And now it's Alec Bohm. Known for his late inning. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I think the intensity level has gone up a few nights. That's in there. Strike one. Oh, Bullpen my. movement for the Rays. Pete Fairbanks, the closer of the staff, is throwing. With the winning run at the plate. And yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boo. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. He just didn't look like he understood the situation. So they're down to their final out. And now for the Phillies, Bryson stop. There's a strike.
and the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. With the tying run at second, bottom half of inning number two. Next offering way off the plate. The Phils down to their final strike. Two outs. And he dodges that fastball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrated pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hit. Tied again. It's 1-1. One, one. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet knowing that you can go with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. JT Real Muto steps in. Eflin a move to first. Back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's going to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Pitch out, but no action. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And Real Muto is out. And that's the inning. So one run on one hit. No errors. And a run. We head on now to the top of the third. All tied 1-1. One, one. So coming into the game now on defense. No salsa. Takes over as the new first baseman. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Jose Caballero now at the plate. And he deals. And that's outside. Ball one. And it's second. Swing. At the belt and fires. Oh. And it's even up. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. It get there, it falls in. And a 2-1 ball. And that's a leadoff double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man that comes up, gets in the scoring the position. Ball. Now, Renee. there are several ways that they can get this run across. And now the catcher comes up to him. Renee Pinto. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. There's a ball. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Now two balls and a strike. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. Hits and misses. It's a strike. 
Yandy Diaz now. Fly to right his first time. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That oh, one outside. Up. Now one and two. It's a good take. Oh, that one just oh, misses. Oh. It's two and two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two down, nobody on. Good job to fight that one off. And the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Rays get an RBI double. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third, Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. The pitch. That's to third. Oh, it's off his glove. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get an out on the play. First and second, no outs. And digging in for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. And that one fouled off. A one-run lead here in the last half of the third. Ground ball right side could be two. One at second. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwartz comes up to hit here. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And a good eye there. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. That's ripped into the outfield. Schwarber out of the play. Runner tags for home. To the plate. Safe. And we are tied. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Trey Turner with a chance now. 0 for 1 so far. This might be a steal situation. It's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Yeah. Hard hit, base hit. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is now in scoring position. Just so sound to his mechanics. Hits against a continue to carry the middle of the field. To the play. Enter the game as a pinch runner. First appearance for here. Inside corner for a strike. One one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first. Up and in, ball one. spot had to make a great pitch did it got the strikeout gets out of the jam clearly he's happy with those results
start of the fourth and stepping in for the race, Brandon Lau. The right-hander back to work. That one off the mark. 1-0. and oh. Hard hit left side. Turner with the throw to first. Lau out on the play. The batter. The left fielder. Randy... Arosa now it's going to be Randy or Rosarena. Went down on strikes his first time through. There's a strike at the knees. It's 0-1. And a swing they're throwing pitchers in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. Man at second. Ouch. He had two hey, strikes on him, and he hit him. Certainly jumps hard off. It's the hit by pitch right there, and now they have the opportunity to make it really hurt on the scoreboard. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Yes. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's one nothing straight. and one. That clips the corner. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. Top half of inning number four. scoring position just put the ball in place somewhere and you got a very frustrating for him I'm sure see if the next guy can pick him up Ramirez next to hit for the Rays not looking his first time up that clips the inside corner for a strike First and second, two down. That's Outside low, one and one. Swing and a miss, he was late, strike two. I think he was sitting on speed there. see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning Downstairs and outside. Castellano swings, throws one to center. That's bad. up 
you're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. But he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice swing. And your final four. The Phillies hang on to win it for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long.